Pescoço. Then after you have great coaches, you get great players, you have a great organization, and you tell them one thing, just win, baby. What is good, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Raider Alex, back with you. Another video for you guys. Anybody that's new to the channel, you guys love Raider-related content just like this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to hit that bell notification. That way you get notified every time I post a video just like this one. Without further ado, let's jump right into the topic of this video. Big news today from the Las Vegas Raiders when it comes to their next quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo back in March signed a three-year contract with the Las Vegas Raiders, but one big caveat in that contract was the Raiders were going to be off the hook if Jimmy Garoppolo did not fully heal from his injury last season with the San Francisco 49ers with that broken foot. The Raiders had a potential out in case Jimmy Garoppolo would not pass his physical. Well, today ESPN Adam Schefter has reported that, that Jimmy Garoppolo has passed his physical and this will allow him to join training camp with the Las Vegas Raiders. He will be able to join the Raiders once they fully put the pads on on August 1st. And this is just very big for the Raiders. I mean, typically I don't do a whole lot of news of, you know, training camp updates and stuff of that nature. But this particular news is very big for the Raiders just because we got a new quarterback who he is in a new system now he does have some familiarity with Josh McDaniels back to his New England days but regardless he's still been out of the system for years now he has new players new personnel that he needs to build chemistry with and that's going to be huge for the Raiders moving forward and Jimmy Garoppolo's success but this should just help them build chemistry with one another another thing to keep into consideration too is whether or not Jimmy Garoppolo will play in the preseason this year um, you know, let me know your uh, guys' thoughts and opinions on that. Um, it's kind of a double-edged sword. I mean, we don't want Jimmy Garoppolo to get hurt out there. Um, ideally, I would say maybe put him out there for one series um, just to get some snaps and some live game reps. Just because I think we went through this last season with Derek Carr, you know, under a new system. You know, you don't play the preseason, at least one snap. He looked really rusty out there those first two three weeks i don't want that same thing to happen with jimmy garoppolo now i also understand jimmy garoppolo is a little bit more injury prone than Derek carr but you know this is just a big step forward for the raiders at this point we got jimmy garoppolo he will be present for training camp and i guess when the time comes when preseason rolls around this regime will make that decision on whether or not it's a good idea for them to play Jimmy Garoppolo just to be in the preseason, but we'll just have to see. And under the news related to training camp, it looks like our rookie, our first round pick, Tyree Wilson, has been put on the NFI list where he's not gonna participate thus far in training camp. Hopefully he can get back on that field as soon as possible. I assume that it's nothing major. It's not necessarily a huge red flag for me, but ideally I would like to see Tyree Wilson out there as soon as possible. It's just gonna help his developmental process as a rookie coming into the league. And quite frankly, I mean, this is a guy where if he doesn't get a whole lot of snaps in his rookie season, it's gonna be a, uh, it's not gonna be a good look for this first round pick. When you get a guy in the top seven, you really need him to have an impact on your team in year one. And also our other rookie defensive tackle, Byron Young out of Alabama was put on the physically unable to perform list as well. It is expected that he will more than likely be back in a couple weeks. These are also two other guys to keep an eye out for. Really, you know, the more people we can get in training camp is just gonna help this team moving forward. They need to get, especially the, the rookies, as I said, it's gonna help their developmental process. It's gonna help them get familiar with the playbook. And those guys for sure, you know, we definitely wanna see them out there in the preseason, get as much live game reps as possible before the real thing comes. Just right around the corner, not too far away until the regular season finally begins. But Raider Nation, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about the Jimmy Garoppolo situation and Tyree Wilson and Byron Young. Let me know, but with that being said, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Anybody that's new, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.